Hey everybody, in this video we are going to do the first, second, and third verses of Mr. Crowley. This is one of the greatest arrangements ever for a song because the way that they put verse 1 and 2 right next to each other because there's a slight break right at measure 16. So each one of these verses is only 16 measures and Randy in measure 12 for every verse did a different fill. Now each of the verses have slight very slight variations, you know, where he slides or, you know, bends a little bit different. You're, you're obviously going to hear that if you learn this one time through. So we're going to go through the first 12 measures. I'm going to stop at measure 12 and I'm going to give you all three of the fills that Randy uses for all three verses. Then we'll finish the rest of the actual verse. And that'll be a pretty simple run through of all the 16 measures. All right, so the very first measure in the verse here, we're going to start with a D power chord, which is going to be the 5th fret on your A string, 7th fret on your D string, which is going to give you D and A. Here's the chord. Next two notes are going to be your open A string, 1st fret, low E string, which is F. So here's what you have. Next measure is going to start with that D chord again. Slide out of it, and we're going to come to the B flat chord, which is going to be first fret, third fret on your A and D string, which gives you B flat and F. B flat, F. And you're going to play that chord twice. The fill that he's doing there is going to be one three one zero, which is going to be B flat C B flat A. Next measure is going to go back to the B flat chord twice. Third fret on your A string, which is C, which is going to get you to your next measure. So now let me give you the first four measures. Here's what you have. So far. Next measure is going to come back to that D chord. Same thing as your very first measure. Back to your B flat chord for the next measure, which is going to be the two B flats again. Now this is one of the little variations that I was telling you about. So Randy does instead of just he added an extra couple of B flats in there. Next measure is going to be back to your B flat chords. Next measure is going to be to your C chords. Next measure is going to come up to the 5th fret on your A string, which is going to be D and E, so it's going to be 5-7. You're going to play this chord here, which is going to start 5th fret, 5th fret, and 5th fret from your D string, G string, and B string, which is going to give you G, C, and E. G, C, E. Next chord is going to be 7th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret. So here's what you have. Next measure is going to be two D chords. Now, next measure that we're coming up to is measure number 12. And as I mentioned, measure number 12 is a fill that Randy added in all three verses, different fills. So we're going to do all three fills right now. So the very first one that we're coming to in verse 1 it's going to start on the D string 5-7, which is going to give you G-A. You're going to get a uh, double stop on your G and B string, which is going to be 5-6. You're going to play 7th fret, 6th fret on the G and the B, which is going to give you D and F. And real quick, Randy lifts his fingers off and goes to 5-5, which is going to give you C and E. You're going to hammer back down to the 7-6, which is your D and F and you're going to slide up to the 9th fret and the 8th fret, which is going to give you E and G. So here's what you have really slow. Back to the 7-6, and that's where it ends. So here's this fill again. Now we're going to move on to the 13th measure, which is going to bring you back to your C chord. 14th measure, still on the C chord. 
15th measure back to the B flat chord. And he's gonna pull off this B flat to the open A string and grab the A chord for the very last measure. It's real slight. You're at measure 16. So that's where the last measure is gonna end for verse one. That was the very first fill. Now let's go back to measure 12 and we're gonna do the second fill which is gonna start on the B string, third fret, fourth fret, third fret on the B, which is gonna give you D, E flat, and D. Fifth fret on the G string, which is C. Third fret on the B string, which is gonna give you D. Now this is classic Randy. So we're gonna come back to the G string and we're gonna play five, three, five, three, slide to two, which is gonna be C, B flat, C, B flat to A. We're going to do the same exact thing on the D string, which is going to give you G, F, G, F, slide to E. It's going to end with the fifth fret on the A string, D. Third fret on the A string, which is going to give you C. That's actually the next note in the next measure, measure uh, 13. So that's kind of how he fill, finishes this fill. So here it is, really slow. Next measure. So you, that's where you get that three in there. So that's actually not too much slower than it is actually in the... And you're into the next measure. So now the next one that we're gonna do is still that same measure, but in verse three, Randy comes up a little bit higher and he's gonna start on your low E string, 10th fret, which is gonna be D. He's gonna run partly through this, this D minor scale. I actually, I should call this F major because he's staying diatonic for here, but that's another theory lesson later. So starting on the 10th fret, next one's gonna be the A string, seven, eight, 10, which is gonna give you E, F, and G. He's gonna jump up to the D string, seventh fret, which is your A. He's gonna come back to your a string, eight and 10, which is F and G. Here's what you have so far. Classic Randy again, he loves those little. Now we're gonna be on the D string and this is where he stops muting. He's gonna play seven, eight, 10, 12, 10. Which is gonna give you A. E flat, C, D, C. Here it is again. And he's gonna jump up to the G string and he's gonna play 9, 10, 12, which is gonna be E, F, and G. Last two notes are gonna be on the B string, which are gonna be the 10th fret and 11th fret, which is gonna give you A and B flat. So as you can see here, he stays strictly diatonic in the actual key that he's in. For those of you that are paying attention to the theory part of this, Randy in the solo sections and some of the other places, he sneaks in the harmonic minor. He adds that C sharp in there and in this, this little fill, he doesn't do that. So that's the verse three fill. Here it is one more time. And here it is again, slow. And then you finish it up, same measures, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's the third fill for verse three. You finish out the next four measures and you're done with your verse three. So the next video after this is going to be guitar solo one. Then after that's gonna be the interlude video and then the outro solo. So I'll see you guys in the next video.